There we go. Oh man. It's a nice one. Look up. Oh. What have we got here? Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris and this is Lily and all you subscribers, welcome back. Hey guys, it's still Breast Cancer Awareness Month and uh, first thing is first, I just want to say to all you guys that have been uh, so supportive of us, uh, you know, Kim was diagnosed with breast cancer a little over a year ago and you know, she had surgery and doing the radiation and all that mess and uh, but she's doing better now. It's been a little over a year. She just had another scan. Things are looking good. You know, we're always going to try to promote uh, breast cancer awareness because you know, once it hits you, you realize how, you know how much it can affect people, and uh, you know that early detection is so important. And we really appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, just being a part of our fishing family, and uh, you know, a lot of you guys have come fishing with me. Anyway, this morning we're going to go out. We're going to try to get Kim a black drum. Last time we were out, she got one and she said she would like another. I got to do service on this boat. I got to get a little bit of work done. So I had to come all the way out here anyway. I live like, you know, 50 minutes to an hour from where I keep the boat. So we might as well make a day of it and get out here and try to get on some fish. Uh, hopefully we can get that black drum for Kim. All right, today guys for bait, all I got is a frozen mullet, some frozen crab, and I got some live shrimp. Over here, I'm just going to set up a, on a little fish finder rig, a shrimp, a three out circle hook, and I'm just going to drop it right down here in case a black drum or something, a red drum comes swimming by. And I'm going to leave that right here. That way this one's up close, so it's too far away, so I, you don't have to worry about lines getting all tangled. There we go. Oh man. The nice one. Nice one. Oh. Yes, sir. How you doing? <laughs> now you're probably gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope I don't lose them. What's your name? Jose. Jose, nice to meet you, man. All right, first hook up. Ease. Hopefully this is a black drum. Kim says the only fish that we really want to take home today is a black drum. Everything else is just for fun. Man, this is, this guy's not messing around. Come on. Oh, it's got some leader. Oh, big red. Nice red. Nice red, we'll take him, but he's going back. And uh, for those that don't know, this bridge marks the, the line between catch and release and uh, keepers. Anything south of this bridge, if you're on the east, eastern seaboard of Florida, anything south of this bridge, uh, it's catch and release only. So even if he, this guy was slot, he would still be going home, but I'm, I'm not keeping redfish today. And this is a nice... <sighs> 33 inch redfish. Birdie. It's going back. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Whew. First nice fish of the morning. Man, there's something been tearing up this mullet. 
vehicle. I want to move just a little bit here. Got that nice red. But uh, we're going to keep on looking. I know Kim wants another black drum if I can find one. So that's kind of really the target for today. But we also have to do the um, get the boat service. So I got to drop it off fairly early so I can get back across town for uh, traffic is too bad. But uh, we're going to keep at it and get on some fish, guys. So stay tuned. Well, but it's slack tide and, uh, you know, Lily loves running on the island when it's low tide. All the islands appear and she gets to run around. So we are going to go do that real quick. And uh, then we're going to get back to fishing when the tide picks up. It should start being incoming. We caught that uh, tail end of the outgoing tide when we got that red. But, uh, you know, things are about to flip flop. So we're going to take this opportunity to let Lily have her time and then we'll get back to fishing. All right, pocket pod, you ready? All right, let's go. Man, it's low tide and this island is barely exposed. Usually it's way further down and this is low slack tide, so it's not gonna get any lower than this. Man, everything's been a little crazy since the storm. Come here, Lily. Come on. Well, what's kind of weird is, uh, you know, we circled that island a couple times, and usually this time of year, there's like finger mullet everywhere, and we didn't see any. And I think that's the storm has got everything all screwed up. I'm gonna check out half a crab here, see what happens. Get it through there so it's a little harder to get off. And over here I'm just using some shrimp and we're just gonna chuck this guy down. Picked up. Oh what do we got here? Where are you going, buddy? Come over here. Oh. What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Oh, black drum. Just what the doctor ordered. Nice black drum. Kim's gonna be happy about that one. Oh man. Part of me was hoping I didn't catch a black drum today so I didn't have to flay anything. <laughs> but hey, Kim wants a black drum. We'll bring her one. Come on, buddy. This guy is. Twenty and a half inches. These gotta be 14 to 24, and you're allowed to keep one over 24, I believe. Oh, this guy's going in the box. Right after I sent Kim a selfie. Oh, 
that's take home fish you know we finally got that black drum so we're gonna head to go drop the boat off for service and uh, I'm gonna go over gear uh, after we drop this off so stay tuned all right Lily, let's go drop this boat off almost there Lily almost there Man, you know how like when you find like a good service guy or whatever uh, somebody you know you can trust to work on your your boat and all that mess and uh, well I had a little scare after the hurricane uh, I tried calling these guys and it was straight to what kept going straight to uh, saying that the phone was disconnected yada yada I'm like oh man these guys go out of business did the you know place get ruined or whatever and I finally got a hold of them and they're like yeah we're open they just took forever to get the phone lines back up so just glad they're back up and running and pretty convenient. These guys are pretty good. Like I promised, uh, I talk about my gear. This is the Ugly Stick Tiger Elite Heavy Rod, seven foot. And um, I got a Pin Slammer 3, 4,500 on here, 50 pound braid. I think about a 50 pound liter to here. And then I got a simple fish finder rig with the egg sinker on here, about a two ounce with a swivel and about a two more uh, foot a liter with a trocar inline circle hook and i got those two on shrimp today even though i had you know frozen mullet and frozen crabs the the shrimp were just getting it done today so now we got this off now i gotta get lily home once again thank you for uh coming with me if you want me to take you fishing visit saltystrikesfishing.com uh, hit that subscribe button thumbs up would be greatly appreciated until we see you next time guys stay salty <laughs>